recent athletes from Chinese Taipei who have achieved success at Universiade. There is Suli Wen. So there's the first group of athletes, and we'll have four more, all who competed and won medals at Shenzhen back six years ago in China. On those sports, basketball will get going tomorrow. Weightlifting back in the games after not being part of the program in Guangzhou. Golf gets going in a little less than a week's time. And badminton will get going right away as well. Continue to hear the sounds of the Taipei Symphony Orchestra in behind. And as the FISU anthem is played here momentarily, there'll be the Taipei Youth Choir, conducted by Hong Ching Ying, that will perform. And the eight flag bearers will now hand off to two flag raisers.
Now for the oath of athletes and judges. Two athletes will come to take that oath on behalf of all the athletes seated here and competing here in Taipei. Tung Swan Volleyball, the 2015 Guangzhou fourth place finish with Chinese Taipei. Chiang Kai-chen tennis player won a gold medal at Universiade in Guangzhou. Now for the officials. There you have the oaths of the athletes and officials. And that will now lead us into Culture Program 2. This one is called Hybrid Taipei. Taipei's skyline portrays the coexistence of the traditional and the modern, creating endless dialogues between the new and the old. Hybrid creativity marks the city's vitality. Amidst the vigor and energy of the, of the everyday lives of Taipei's people, the culinary delights of the night markets emerge. The smoke of the night market stir-fry fires magically changes into the smoke from the temple incense with its faithful seeking blessing from the heaven. Flags and banners of all colors fly in all directions, symbolizing the enormous variety, openness, and freedom of expression the people of Taipei enjoy. In the final parade of grandiose beauty, a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds demonstrated by the Taiwanese youth showcases the passion and vigor of the city, Taipei. And this first part is called Transforming Taipei. And you'll see young figures jumping and flying across the city's landmarks like gusts of surging kinetic energy and power transforming the city. Taipei 101 as we make our way up to the very top of it.
This next part is called Culinary Taipei. The robust energy of Taipei's everyday lives transforms the city into a pinball machine full of surprises. Amidst the consecutive launchings of fireworks and pounding percussions, a culinary assault of smells and tastes is in full force. We now move to spiritual Taipei. The culinary smoke magically changes into the religious smoke of praying. The Chinese character Fu, meaning blessing, appears on stage to symbolize the inner spiritual faith of the Taipei city.
now the final part here of Culture Program 2, Hybrid Taipei. This is Democratic Taipei. Flags and banners of all colors fly, demonstrating the city's pursuit of pluralism and diversity. People have raised their arms time and again to fight for the values of freedom and democracy, the guarding spirit of Taipei. This is boxing performing here, this fourth portion. And they'll be followed by Alin, who will sing after they are done. People gathered together in warm hospitality, bringing about a majestic parade, vibrant with joy and excitement. Robust colors express the passion of Taipei's citizens. This is a city renowned for its open-armed friendliness. Taipei, facing the future, continues to march forward.
Good shot there, right over the stadium. Spotlights and fireworks. And that was Hybrid Taipei, the director of that program, Liao Zhu Han. Musical design from Koji Sakurai and Blair Ko. We'll jump right in to Culture Program 3. This one is called Global Tribe. There's Tseng Yu Chen and Dream Factory. Through technology, sport, and music, we cross over national borders to connect with each other. The Silicon Wafer is the driver of technological innovation, power the infinite possibilities of digital communication. Cosmic sound and light travel at extreme speed, hither and yon, guiding everyone into a fantasy sports field where a cascade of images full of visual surprises embodies the spirit of sport and showcases the power of connection. The world is brought together as one family in a soaring moment of glory. And in this portion called Dream Factory, in the land of light and digital information, the resonating sound of violin soars into the skies as an expression of our sci-tech prowess and self-confidence. Now connection through technology. The dance of silicon wafers weaves an infinite network of linkages and connections. People rejoice at the beautiful realm of vibrant information technology.
The section is called Global Resonance. A vibrant sports ground is magically transformed into an interactive concert venue pulsating throughout with symphonic resonance and dance. The whole world is brought together as one family in a soaring moment of glory. And the singer Wang Li Hum
There you have the three cultural programs. And as I said, you would get a really good sense throughout about what this city and this country is all about. And we will now move to igniting the cauldron. Lighting ceremony took place initially on June 20th in Turin, Italy. There you get a look at Turin, host to both summer and winter Universiade. The birthplace, seen as the birthplace of Universiade, holding the first back in 1959. And that moved the torch on its journey to ultimately get here to Taipei. Overseas relays were held in Naples, the next host for Universiade in Bangkok, hosted back in 2007, and Daegu in Korea, that hosted back in 2003. And as you can see from the video, it has been throughout in many ways, vehicle, boat, hot air balloon, and of course, on foot. The Taiwan portion of the relay began at the top of Mount Jade, which is the highest mountain in Taiwan and Northeast Asia at 3,952 meters, and then traveled through 22 cities and counties here throughout Taiwan for ultimately getting here to the stadium where it will light the cauldron this evening. And as is always the case, the mystery as to who will ultimately light it. There is Chang Hung Che, table tennis double gold medalist in Guangzhou at University at back in 2015. Back in 1964, when Tokyo hosted the Summer Olympics, its torch really actually passed through Taipei. Now, Tai Tzu Ying, the first ranked, top ranked badminton player, was called the Badminton Queen of Taiwan. So I won't spoil the, the fun. So, four of the five torchbearers here tonight are known and have at least been released internally or to people like me who needed it but even the the fifth one is still a complete mystery as on the information i was handed all it says is that the final one is a secret and will be the most exciting highlight of the opening ceremony so it is anyone's guess now for the third torch bearer. The 
This is Tanya Ting, outstanding archer and member of the women's team gold medal back at the Guangzhou Universiade two years ago. So again, the next one is known. I won't, don't worry, I won't reveal it. But the fifth one will sit waiting to find out who it might be. And the cauldron ultimately will be lit to the, if you see the, the U there on your screen, it'll be lit to the left at the end of the stadium. So the torch will still make likely another good run around the stadium before ending up igniting the cauldron, which currently is in darkness as well. Chen Ching Fang, the first Chinese Taipei athlete to play in the major leagues of baseball. Get a good look at his swing here. An outfielder made his major league debut for the Los Angeles Dodgers back in 2002. And he is the one that ultimately ignites This cauldron, so my information is a little bit off. We didn't know the final one. There was another one scheduled to be in there, but nonetheless, there is the mystery solved. Spent parts of four seasons with the LA Dodgers. Well, as a side note, are having an unbelievable season in the major leagues. And there, see at one end of the stadium, fireworks that have gone off, and now you can see the cauldron lit there at the top portion of Taipei Stadium. The cauldron that will stay lit throughout these games, which are now officially open and will continue through to August 30th. Twenty-one sports, two hundred and seventy-five events will be played out over the course of these 12 days. It has been a beautiful ceremony here tonight in Taipei as you get a look at some of the athletes there from Russia taking a look at the closing fireworks display. Some beautiful insight into the culture of Taiwan and of Taipei. Of 
course, the athlete parade. Had a bit of a delay, but ultimately turned out to be an extremely memorable portion of the evening. There you get a really good look at the at the cauldron. see that cauldron remain in essentially perpetual motion throughout the games. One hundred and forty four countries. Just over seven thousand six hundred athletes competing.